Yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> That's a, such an old commercial. People wouldn't even know that. <laughs> it was a little dog that would run around and say that, right? Right. What does it, it even mean? For... Somebody type in the comments what Yo that quiero? means. Yo quiero Taco Bell. I want Taco Bell. Yo oh. quiero. Oh, okay. I want Taco oh, that's Bell. right. You've been taking uh, I'm some taking classes. Spanish. Yeah. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, but for a year, surprisingly, I'm still not very good. Okay, well, you got that one better than me. So <laughs> I will be right back. Me gusta your español. <laughs> good, good morning, welcome. Mia, wake up. Mia, wake up, oh. <laughs> were we buenos dias? Yes. <laughs> I think I said, were we good morning? We were, were we good morning? <laughs> good morning, y'all. They're looking good today. It's so good to have you with us. And um, I'm Pastor Scott. I'm Pastor Jason. We're going to do a morning scripture. We're going to pray every day. If you're a new subscriber, type in where you're from. We love to read that on Wednesdays, which today is Comic Wednesday. Comic Wednesday. And where's our scripture? Our scripture is going to be in Genesis chapter 32. Ooh, I love so that. start going there now. And we had a, a comment from Brandon Rock from Sacramento, California. Hope you are feeling well. He said that while we were on Ooh. our quarantine. Right? And so uh, thank you for that. Actually, we were feeling well. I'm, I was feeling well. I'm thanking well. God very much that... Um, I lost my, my smell. You guys saw me eat chocolate. Yeah. I ate chocolate. I know you did. And you know that... Because you couldn't taste your smell. No, no, he no. hates He hates chocolate. Chocolate's like kryptonite. No, no, no. <laughs> just a few throw. days ago after I got my, my smell and taste back, I just went like... And I went, oh my gosh, no, it made me want to... Right. Be sick. Yeah, yeah. So I can't smell it, taste it, but I ate it. You actually ate it. I ate it. I saw it. you, and that's, um, that's how uh, I knew uh, you could not bring. taste anything. But I told God, my, now, a uh, couple of my kids still don't have their taste back. Oh, no, Lakin got his taste back yesterday, but he lost it for like 10, 12 days. Yeah. I had mine on the second day, and I, I, as I was going to bed, I said to God, I said, no more. He said, I said, no more. You said, you, God, you know how much I like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you do, Lord. You know it's very important to me. Yeah. So I know it's important to you. So you stood in faith. I did. I stood something. You spoke to the mountain. I said no more to I the think, mountain. I think that's a really good point that you bring up is that sometimes I think we do accept like things With, that yeah. are below the line of what God wants for us. Right. Uh, things that are uh, below His blessing, His mark, His what He's done for us. We accept it because we're like, well, I can live with this. I would know. And you're really bringing up a good point is that you've, we've got to get to the place where we reject, where we reject poverty, we reject like debt, just... where we reject uh, the addiction, where we, we reject things that are below uh, what God has done for us. He set us right. free from addictions. Or, but you've got to at some point go, you know what? No. No, no I'm not. You were like, no, I'm, I'm going to taste. And I mean, it's very rare you find out to get your taste back after two days. I mean, yeah. The next morning I got up and I had my taste and my smell back. Yeah. And I said, thank you. Wow. Very much God. Yeah, praise God. So uh, Martha Para, uh, Para, if I hopefully I said that right, says, God bless you, Pastor Scott and Jason, to all of your beautiful family. Uh -huh. You are all in our prayers and always we are so happy for you and all that, uh, that you are all healthy and well. All thank you, God. Well. Yes, that was sweet. That is amazing. God. Connor Gustafsson from Eskilstuna, Sweden. Sweden, no, Sweden. That was a very good Swedish accent. Hello, family. <laughs> that is, that is like Good our, morning. Yeah, we're from Sweden, Norway, and Ireland. Yes. A lot of, uh, yeah, okay, so part of us is. Okay, so it says, thank you for your daily Bible study. So thank you, Connor. Can you read it in, in, in Sweden? I did. I read it in Swedish. Did you really? Yeah, that was, uh-huh. Thank you for your Bible study. You could understand it because you're also, I, yeah. I, I have so much. I don't know if they could understand it. They'll so do much. subtitles. <laughs> I hope they do. <laughs> John, subtitle that for me. <laughs> That's so awesome. They're watching us from Sweden, though. That's awesome. All right, so our scripture today. Uh, Genesis chapter 32, and, and I just wanted to, you know, we're walking into a new year, and I wanted to talk about that. I see a lot of stuff right now on, um, you know, goodbye 2020 and good Ooh. riddance. And I, right. and I get that. Boy, I feel the same way. Yeah. And, uh, but I, I want to have a, a, the voice that God's given us about last year, 2020. Right. And to not see 2020 as a bad thing. That's a great thing. That, uh, so I'm going to pull from Genesis chapter 32 that, that uh, Jacob was on, a, on the heels of a very rough season in his life. It was not good. He had run from his family. Mm -hmm. His brother was trying to kill him. Right. He runs and into I his understand uncle. that. He's deceived. For 14 years, he's in debt. Right. Uh, and, and he has a lot of things go wrong was, in his and, life. And he really was deceived bad. Like he, he, was. he was supposed to marry uh, Rachel. Yeah. And then he, I don't, and I don't know how that happens. I know. We don't know. <laughs> Something happened and he woke up with Leah. <laughs> so, there may have been drinking a, involved. We don't know. It was the so wrong the, sister. And the then he marijuana had, cigarette. 
And then he had another seven years of debt to get Rachel. Uh, and, and that'd be an awkward conversation. Hey, um, pop in law. <laughs> No, this is what, just 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 talking real quickly. I'm gonna yeah. bounce a couple ideas off of you. So I I said Rachel, right? Right. Yeah. I, I did say Rachel. Like you see us together a lot, right? <laughs> like, what happened? Yeah. I so 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 a lot of things have gone wrong. He's had a really rough patch of of many years in his life, and he's 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 about to meet his brother Esau. He doesn't know if his brother Esau is gonna kill him or not. He's he's left the land and he's headed back home. Right. And it's been roughly 17 years, and. Uh, and, but the Bible talks about just before dawn, he wrestles all night with the Lord. Right. And uh, just before dawn, and so you get the idea, just before the dawning of a new day. Right. He wasn't going to let go of the, of the past. Right. Just yet. He's wrestling. What with, did he need? And, he's, and, the, and, and, and the Bible says this, Then Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. In verse 25, When he saw that he had not prevailed against him, he touched the socket of his thigh, so his socket of his thigh was dislocated while he wrestled with him. And then... He said, let me go for the dawn is breaking. But uh, so it's just the, the idea of a rough season. Right. A lot of pain, a lot right. of mess. Night is now is going but to Jacob dawn. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Right. And this is a message for all of us because, you know, we got in the Jesus line, right? And so we, we look at the good. That's what we do. Right. And, and this is who our Jesus is within us. There are always bad things you could look at, but you got to look for the good. And that's really what this picture was, is looking at 2020 and wrestling with that year until you find your blessing. Don't go into your next year dragging with you. It was just the awfulness of what right. that was. Instead, go get your blessing from that year because you, can't, you cannot say that Satan won last year. He didn't. No, he didn't win. He didn't win. No, no, no. You, find, you have to go back and find the good. And, and we learn how to do this in life. We find the good in our marriage. We find the good in our families. We find the good in our job. Come on, Pastor. It's so Jason. easy to look at the bad, right? And, and so We've got to wrestle with these things until we can find our blessing. And, and I think the thing, the wrestling of your mind, it really is. It's a wrestle. Mm. It's, a, it's a battle and a fight until you can find the good. And once you've done 2020, I, 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 something that I know that Jason does and I know that I do every single day is, and I do it minute by minute, hour by hour, uh, but you can start with day by day, is wrestle to find the good in every day. It's so true. I, I find, you know, I went through 2020, and I, I said that in my sermon, it was the most annoying year, right? I had the biggest problems in my year, but it was my best year I've ever had. Oh, come on. And I, know I that, heard you say that in your sermon, and I was like, that's, what, that's the right attitude to have. Right. Is to look at it and find, sure, there was plenty of things to complain there about. There was a lot. And, and just even every night when you go to bed, Wrestle with the day. Thank you. And get your blessing before you head to the night. See, it was just before daybreak, right. but he was going to get his blessing before he headed. You don't want to walk into the new with all yeah. the regret, with all right. the discouragement. You don't want to walk into the new with the anger and the bitterness. Because it keeps pulling you down. Yeah. And then what happens is your days get just, they seem to get worse. Not that they do get worse, maybe, but they seem to get worse because whatever, Matthew talks about this, he says that whatever you focus on, your body will be full. So if I focus on the negative, I'm full of negative. Yeah. But I find a way to find the positive in mm. every circumstance. Dance. Come on now. And everything that goes on, even when we got the Rona and we had to cancel a bunch of things, you and I went, yeah, but I think God was doing this. Yeah. Right? Not that God gave us the Rona, but no, God was not. using the Rona uh, in order, I believe, to maybe have some protections and some different things for our family. I don't know. But we're able to find it everything in life. Squeeze well, it for the good. Wrestle with that thing till you I find it. I wrestle till I find I squeeze the lemon yeah. till I get a little bit of juice. You ever do that when you're making lemon? <laughs> I have a lemon tree, so I go to make lemonade. Yeah. And, and so I'm like, ooh, I got, I got a lemon. Oh, this and is I, good. And I go, whoosh, right? You squeeze it in your lemon. And it goes, <laughs> It's so true. Like, I'm oh. going to need about 400 more lemons. <laughs> you said 400. For a glass. For a, it's so true, though. It's all, yeah. Boop. Yeah. You ever do that like at a restaurant and you squeeze the whole thing oh. into the glass and just like a little loop and you're like, well, that was it? You know what it actually is more annoying? Is you squeeze it and nothing comes out except for a seed. Goes the in seed your goes, and you're like, you go, I don't want the seed. I don't want the seed. 2020 was like that. It was a seed. You squeezed it and a seed came out. <laughs> I want the seed. The seed has a little flavor on it. But it's, it's uh, such an important thing to learn this in life. And I, I said to my family um, this last week as we were heading into the new year, I said, now r let's all talk about what, what God did for you in 2020. Oh, that's so good. And, you know, it took just a second. And so I'm encouraging you guys with this. Do this in your families. Do this with the people around you. Do what I'm saying right now. It, ask people, what, what, where did God bless you in 2020? Find it. And as we began to talk, it was amazing how it snowballed. Well, okay. Yeah. And you were thinking it was kind of a slow go at first, and you're like, well, that, that happened. 
Right. And that was cool. Right. And then and then all of a sudden, well, also, you know what else happened was this. And then all of a sudden, you see this pile of blessings started to reveal itself. You're like, wow, it was a great year. It was a dang good year. Yeah. It was a dang good year. You know what? And uh, I've talked to maybe parents out there. Actually, I'll talk to everybody on this. Mm-hmm. When you begin to find the good, people around you begin to see the good. You begin to make a difference in your home. The atmosphere of your home can change very fast. Mm-hmm. Very. We had parents, and I think we're so good at it because our parents were great at it. Yeah. There's two people I don't even know. They're like, oh my God, we're going on a vacation. <laughs> we're like, what? Oh, it's going to be such a fun trip. We ended up sitting in a car for seven days as we moved from Wisconsin to Arizona. <laughs> and until I became we're an adult, right. I always thought it was the funnest trip. And then I thought back, I go, I don't think it was that fun. <laughs> I don't think it was a good trip. <laughs> they always found a way to get us to see the good in everything. And then we moved out. Even when it was we lived, awful We things. lived in a trailer the size of this table. Yeah. right? And they're like, isn't this so good? Cool? We're all together. Yeah, yeah. And then they're like, we got a pool. We went out and there was no water in the pool. We're like, we got a pool. They did fill it up with pool with water. Finally, eventually. we did, yeah. And that is where I learned how to swim. That's where you learned how to swim. Yeah, I have the greatest memories of that little itty bitty. Right, uh, that shuffleboard. When we say trailer, we we I slept on the kitchen table. There was no yeah. there was no beds in this trailer. But the way was, they portrayed it was yeah. it was the funnest time of Isn't our this life. Great? We're camping. Isn't this wonderful? <laughs> I was like, sure. Yeah. Okay, this is it's wonderful. Because as a kid. Whatever you say is what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. And then we moved into our next... I know I keep going, but then the very first house we bought, it was in the worst part of Phoenix. Yeah. And then Dad would tell us that it was fireworks going off every yeah, we'd night. Yeah, we hear gunshots at night. But yeah. it was gunshots later, yeah. I realized. It was gunshots, yeah. And so, so you'll go through some tough times, but find ways to find the good. No matter where you are, no matter what you're going through, look for the, the good. good. God will see Joseph. We see it with our heroes, Joseph and David and... We're out of time. Let's pray. Dear Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for the good that you put in our day, Lord. You find a way to do something, to surprise us, to give us something great, Lord. But we're going to be the people that find it. We see it. We seek it out. We seek your goodness, Mm -hmm. Lord. And so as we seek it, we begin to find it. And as we begin to see it and see it, we begin to realize, wait, God is with me. Mm -hmm. God was doing. God was working in my 2020. Oh, I didn't even realize how many things that doors that got opened up. I was so focused on the negative and the, the things that the, the news and the media and everybody was telling me that I didn't see what you were doing, Lord. Mm. And I won't go into 2021 until I seen the good. And now I'm going to be focused every day on seeing the blessings that you are putting into my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, you can click somewhere on the screen and watch the sermon from this last weekend where you talked about uh, living on the path to success. It was Get an amazing path, message. Baby. And then uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, type in where you're from when you subscribe. Don't forget to text. Share this. Oh, and you can text the number on your screen, 81010. And you have to text this weird message. It's a great message. It makes sense. At 67. What it's going to do is it's going to subscribe you to a text alert. Every time we post a new wake up, which is daily, it'll right. text you the, the link. Save you a lot of time. You just click that link. Boom, off you go. It's into so wake easy. Up. Wake up in the morning, go boop. Yep. All right, see you tomorrow.